Sometimes when you're serving for Jesus on your own, it is easy to isolate and decide, I don't need anyone. I'll do this by myself. I don't need church. I don't need you. I'm going to make it by myself. It's a lie from Satan. Satan wants you to believe you don't need help. You can do this on your own. The truth is you can't. You don't have the strength. The only way you'll make it is by depending on God every day for strength. That's your manna or your daily bread. See, self-dependence is the enemy of God dependence. You need strength from God every single day. And God promises that if you'll stay faithful, if you won't compromise or quit, you'll receive manna. You'll receive daily strength from heaven. Jesus said to the church in Pergamum, he says to you, I know you feel alone. Don't give in. I'll give you strength you never knew you had. And in my strength, you'll make it. And then here's how the letter ends. To him who overcomes, I will give some of the hidden manna. I will give him a white stone, a white stone with a new name written on it, known only to him who receives it. The white rock with a, with a name on it meant three things. First, in those days when a trial took place, it was different than now. Now, at the end, the judge says, jury, have you reached a decision? And the jury foreman stands up and says, yes, we have, Your Honor. And then the judge says, what's your decision? And the jury foreman says, we, the people, do. Then the defendant was given a rock. And when they opened their hand and looked, if it was a black rock, it meant you're guilty. If they were given a white stone, it meant not guilty. Jesus said to the church in Pergamum, I'll give you a white stone. You are not guilty. You're forgiven. One day you and I will stand before God, the ultimate judge. And if you remain faithful to him and you refuse to compromise or quit, he will declare you not guilty, forgiven. That's enough right there, but there's more. I'll give you a white stone with a new name written on it. In the ancient world, in the Old Testament, to know someone's name, especially that of God, was to enter into an intimate relationship with that person and to share in that person's character or power. To be given a new name was an indication of a new status. When someone gave a name to someone else, it meant they owned them. God said, I'll give you a new name. And I like that thought. You are owned by God. You are his. And he loves you. And you're his child. God changes you into something new. Not only are you forgiven with the promise of heaven, you are transformed on earth. And what you used to be, you are not anymore. You've been changed. You've been new. You've been transformed. There are a lot of used to be's in this room today. How many of you are a used to be? Raise your hand, used to be's. What did you used to be? Kind of call it out. Let me hear it. Alcoholic. You used, to, you used to be an alcoholic. Not anymore. You've been given a new name. What did you used to be? Lost. Not anymore. What did you used to be? A jerk. Yeah. What did you used to be? Angry. An addict. Self-centered. Suicidal. Insecure. Codependent. That's what you used to be, but not anymore because he's given you a new name and you've been transformed by the power of God. You're no longer what you used to be. Now, aren't you liking that rock a little more right now? I love the song we sing from this verse. I was lost in shame. I could not get past my blame. Until he called my name, I'm so glad he changed me. Darkness held me down, but Jesus pulled me out, and I'm no longer bound. I'm so glad he changed me. Sin had left me blind, but Jesus had opened my eyes, and now I can see the light. I'm so glad he changed me. Now I'm walking free. I've got victory. It's all over me. I'm so glad he changed me, because now I'm a new creation in Christ. 
The old is gone. There's new life. I live by faith, not by sight. There's a new name written down in glory, and it's mine. Yes, it's mine. I've met the author of the story, and he's mine. Yes, he's mine. You've been transformed. We should celebrate like crazy every time we sing that song. I mean, we should jump and shout and march. It's not just song lyrics. It's a truth. He gave you a new name because you belong to him. The white stone with the new name written on it stood for forgiveness and transformation. But it went, meant one more thing to the church members in Pergamum. In those days, in their versions of the Olympics, winners didn't receive a medal around their neck. They were given as part of their prize, a white stone. And that stone was their invitation to an exclusive feast, a giant party. The white stone meant access. Amen. Now you might be ahead of me. Jesus was saying to the church in Pergamum and to us, if you won't quit, if you will stay faithful and not compromise, if you will overcome, I'm going to give you access to the ultimate party, to the ultimate feast. And one day, forgiven and transformed, I'm going to welcome you into heaven. And on that day, all your faithfulness will be worth it. On that day, you're not going to think about what you missed by refusing to compromise. On that day, you'll stand in the presence of God. You'll look your Savior face to face, and you will hear him say, Well done, my good and faithful servant. And then he'll say, Now enter into my rest. You have access for all eternity. If you refuse to give in and compromise, that's what you get. Forgiven, transformed, access. I suggest you write it on your rock like I wrote it on mine. And when somebody comes by your desk and asks what that rock means, say, I've been forgiven. I was, I was wrong and gone, and Jesus declared me not guilty. He gave me a new name. I used to be an alcoholic. I used to be a racist. I used to be angry. I used to be afraid. He's given me a new name. I've been transformed, and I've got access because of what he's done for me. One day, I'm going to leave this world, and I'm going to go to heaven. That may look like a rock to you, but that looks like a celebration to me. He's given me a new name, and it's written down in glory, and that's something that we can celebrate.